Small volume continuous changes the way we make medicine because it truly is stretching all the boundaries. It's not the first time we have done something new at the Kinsale site. The concept was approved in 2015. We broke ground in 2016 and in the space of 18 months, constructed and commissioned a new facility, continuous processing equipment, a new automation system and online process analytics. Including all the teams that were involved in the project between concealed manufacturing, uh, drug development uh, and the engineering partners in the delivery of the facility, we had about 200 people delivering the project. We've invested in this project and this technology, not just for a single molecule, but because we're trying to accelerate a pipeline of medicines to help patients. It's enabled us to go after different chemistries that we would never have been able to do at batch. Things that are high temperature, high pressure, green yards. It's opened up a whole new area for us. So when you do continuous manufacturing, you have to continually add and continually take out. We can do uh, chemistry transformation A, B, and C all in series, as opposed to running A, stopping, changing over, running B stopping in and running C. It was done in a way that all steps were running simultaneously and that's each reaction and each separation unit operation all the way through the API crystallization, which really makes this a first in flight in GMP manufacturing. The continuous manufacturing equipment itself, which we refer to as skids, all had to be designed and demonstrated first time. So I have a unit operation that's in a Lego block, I can put it together with other Lego blocks and I can make a process very quickly. I can then at the end of that process clean it, take the Lego bricks apart, and then reassemble them again in a different order for another process. For SVC, small volume continuous, one of the big benefits is that the operation is in fume hoods. Well, the fume hoods provide great containment because the operators can access the equipment while wearing a simple pair of gloves and still be appropriately protected. The fume hoods gives us that extra layer of protection as well from a safety point of view. So I could use safe ferry equipment in a fume hood, which was unheard of. Most people would say, no, you have to have very much uh, ATEX rated equipment, which is more expensive, physically larger, more cumbersome to handle. It also uh, enables us to see what is going on in the reactors. You can actually see the chemistry happening in front of your eyes. The automation, we've made slick so it's plug and play. There's a lot of variables that play into that when you take the whole process. Because of the nature of continuous manufacturing, we need real-time data. And with the analytical strategy, with PAT, the PAT systems, talking to the control systems, we were able to get that information. It was very important that the analytical function work directly with tech services and engineering, so it was a very collaborative enterprise. We can make the processes greener, more efficient, which again reduces costs and helps the environment. And it's not very often you get an opportunity to work on a project like that where you truly are making that big of a difference in the way we've traditionally made medicines. You know, at the end of the day, there's a patient waiting for that product and if we're able to shorten those supply chains, then we can really get product to market faster and help the patient.